has cones, and so if you need something to dribble through, just grab some shoes. I've got three pairs of shoes here, so I've got six shoes in total, and we're just gonna set them up one step away from each other. So just one step, put a shoe, one step, put a shoe. So you can be setting this up as I do. So what we're gonna be doing with these shoes is we're gonna be weaving in and out of them, all right? So we're gonna be practicing dribble and control. All right, so we're gonna start off by you just have the ball. Once all of your shoes or cones are set up in a line, and you're just gonna dribble in and out of them, weaving back and forth. All right, does that make sense? Great, once you're ready, we're gonna go. Uh, if you have more than one person, I suggest you go all the way through, and then once you get to the very end, I want you to turn around and just dribble back to the beginning, and the other person will then go. If you're just doing it by yourself, I want you just to go back and forth and back and forth. All right, we'll do this for about 45 seconds to a minute. All right, and go. Just dribbling through. You can use both feet, inside of your feet, back and forth. Once you get to the end, the next person can go. And then you're just waiting here for them to finish. Once they get to the end, then you can go again. Try to keep that ball nice and close to you. If you hit a cone, that's okay. Just go back, put it back where it was, and then start again. All right, he finishes it up. Now it's my turn. Back and forth. Good. You wanna keep that ball nice and in control. Try to keep it close to you. Doesn't matter how fast you go, you just want to try to keep the ball under control. All right, he finishes it up. My turn. All right, and then once he finishes, we'll be done. So finish the one you're on now, and then we'll be done. All right, very good. That was awesome, both feet, that was great. Now we're gonna try a little bit of a challenge. Now, if you're like me, you like one foot better than the other. I'm right-footed, so I like my right foot better. So right now, we're gonna try to go through the cones, but you only can use one foot. The first time you go through, I want you to use your dominant foot. For most of us, that'll be our right foot. The next time you go through, I want you to use your weak foot only. All right, so we're gonna go through just two more times, using just one foot at a time. So I'm gonna start out just with the right foot. All right, ready, go. Right foot, here we go. All right, once I'm done, now Tobias goes with just his right foot. All right, one time is done for me. Now on my second time with just the left foot. All right, this is a little bit harder. May not be as used to this. Very good, doesn't matter how fast you go, just try to keep it under control. Very good. All right, and this is a drill you can do whenever you want. You don't have to just do it this many times. You can do it more. All right.